here we have some ingredients. We have some yeast, which I've saved from one of my Cooper's kits. We also have some light dry malt extract, one kilogram. And 300 grams of Nelson Savin hop cones. The fermenter. A small glass carboy. Alright, so we'll start off with a um, bit of pre boiled water. It's about one and a half litres in there. And then what we'll do is we'll pop in the uh, dry malt extract. Pretty much melted down the um, light dry malt extract and um, I'm just now bringing the pot up to the boil. Cool. So I've got a rolling boil happening, just a real real small boil, nothing too crazy. So I'm just going to boil it for about 15 minutes. And 10 exactly. Cool. So that's what we're going to add to the boil. Okay, time for the hops to go on. Time to cool it down. Did I forget something? I think I did. How about we do a bit of a whirlpool? Turn that guy on. Ooh, we're up to 43 grams. More. 58. More. What are we up to? 73. How about we add some more? 88. I say more. Hmm. How about 100 grams? Let's whirlpool 100 grams of hops. And uh, while it cools down the rest of the way, we'll whirl pour in these hops. Let's do it. Alright, look at all those hops. Got the temperature down to about 30 degrees now, so that's, that's almost chilled down enough. But wait, there's more. Let's get some more hops. There's another 100 grams in there. Hmm, how about we put them in there? Where'd they go? Boom, there they are. Good old hops, eh? Hmm. Still not satisfied. Oh, look at that. The bag's empty. Oh, there they are. There's the other 100 grams. Oh, deja vu. There we go. Huh, it actually fills up half the carboy. Oh well, she should be fun. So we're looking pretty good. So uh, those hops have basically been used up now, so we're just pretty much getting rid of them. Over the hops, just to ensure we've got all that um, dry malt extract and sugars and things out of there. Now because we've got so many damn hops in here, I'm going to get the yeast and pour a little bit on the hops, 
just so that um, the wort that's within the hops can ferment. Um, just put a little bit in there. <laughs> Looks like we've got one hop left in the um, in here, which we might have to get rid of. See ya. Yeah, we we'll just top up the water until she's uh, near the top. I'll I'll carry on with this. So here it is. Got the beer somewhere down here, or the walked, sorry, and uh, the hops somewhere up here. Should probably get the uh, airlock in there. Bang. Ready for action! So, um, basically, uh, don't try this at home. It's too many hops. You'll die. <laughs> um, nah, but, but to be serious, this is, this is like a ridiculous experiment. I have no idea what's going to happen. Who knows, the hops could just bubble to the surface and burst the thing open and go everywhere. Who knows? Um, so um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ferment that for like, I don't know, seven days and uh, yeah, then I'll probably just bottle it after that and uh, see what happens. Of course I'll have to um, uh, use the sieve to catch the hops uh, while it comes out and um, I'll probably need to top it up to six litres because um, with all the hops in there we weren't able to hit six litres, so it'll have to be a post-fermentation addition of um, water. So um, no problem, all good. Uh, and uh, the uh, good thing about this beer is um, it's probably not going to get infected uh, with that many hops in it. Man, there's a lot of antibacterial action right there. Bang. So, um, yeah, no, it'll either be a disaster or like a ridiculously hoppy over the top beer. See what happens. Cheers, guys. Uh, see what happens. <laughs> hey, guys, so the roundup on this Nelson Savin Harvest Ale. Um, so, they were all fresh hop cones. Um, Basically, they came straight from uh, one of the farms here in Nelson, uh, and uh, basically I just chucked them in the freezer, had them in the freezer for about a day, I think, and then, uh, you know, waxed them into the brew. Also dry hopped the shit out of this beer. Um, contradictory to what I said about the infection, uh, you know, or, or lack of, because of so many friggin' hops. Uh, the, the beer actually did develop an infection. Oh, I was so gutted. Um, really weird. Um, basically, it was kind of like a, um, what do you call it? Like a, almost a chemically sort of flavor, kind of like a, a bleachy sort of flavor, um, which I have had in one other homebrew. Um, so I was familiar with that and um, kind of picked up on the fact that it was some sort of infection. So um, so basically for the first for the first month, you know, after the beer had carbonated, um, I mean, this is the good news, um, the, the flavours were developing. Um, there was no real malty backbone because I just used, you know, the, the, the spray malt, um, nothing, nothing special. Um, but holy crap, like seriously, the, um, the hops, man, they were intense, like I was getting, this was like the hoppiest Nelson Savin ale I had ever 
made, tried, seen, ever. Um, basically, the beer tasted like a freaking, uh, 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 what do you call it, a, a Sauvignon Blanc, like a wine, you know. Um, the, the fruitiness and the hoppiness, it was just that intense that it really took over the drink, you know. Um, really nice, sweet, fruity, floral sort of um, flavour and aroma. Really intense. Um, I would be very much... Uh, I'd be keen to do this one again. Um, I don't know if I'd want to use the fresh hop cones again, though. Basically, the deal was... Um, these were the discards, the, these hops. So that these were the um, the binds or vines, you know, that, that went through the processing plant, um, sped out the other end, and basically there were still some hops left on it. So um, we were allowed to go and, and rummage through the, the, the basically the throwaway, the discards pile, and, and grab as many hops as we wanted. So that was pretty cool. Um, the problem, right, with that is... Uh, we couldn't guarantee the the cleanliness of the hops because they've been sitting out in the sun for a good part of the day, um, and this is this is no one's fault. This is just this is just you know discard batch, uh, discard pile. You know it's uh, so they're sitting out in the sun for most of the day. Um, uh, probably been moved around a little bit um, without the thought of you know, food, food grade sort of, sort of uh, handling, so, um, uh, but basically we just got, um, any old box we could find and just loaded the boxes up with the hops, just hand picking them, throwing them in, so, so really there, there was, there was room for infection there, I suppose, you know, there was nothing special about the handling of the hops, um, I mean, although the hops are, you know, generally antibacterial, um, uh, as we all kind of know, um, I think it may have just been a bit too much for it, you know, the fact that I put so many hops in, maybe introduced enough bacteria to, to really take over within that space of, you know, sort of four or five weeks, so a um, bit of a shame, but um, no, nah, look, at the same time, it was it was a um, pretty funny experiment, I, I enjoyed a little enjoyed it a lot. Um, I've actually still got 800 grams of those hops in the freezer. Um, I mean they're pretty old now, um, especially for fresh hops. Um, I don't know what I'll use them for, maybe I'll just pop them in the garden or something, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's the final verdict really, it just it kind of messed up a little bit. But at the same time, you know, I, I got this unique flavour out of it, so um, maybe next time I might try it with, say, you know, like um, hot pellets, you know, properly processed and um, and well kept ones, uh, rather than fresh hops. But then again, maybe it's the fresh hops that gave you know that gave it a distinctive character. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, there you go. Well worth a try. Um, maybe just try pellets. You know, might have a a, a cleaner experience. Um, I don't know. Just thinking about my brewing process, it was um. It wasn't really rushed, but it was quick. Um, I, know, I, did, I did clean and sanitize everything, but you never know, shit, you know, that you've got stuff flying in the air and whatnot. And, and I mean, I was picking up the hops and dumping them in with my hands. Um, I can't remember. I, I, I probably used some sort of hand sanitizer, which I usually do want to handle hops like that. Um, but yeah, you can never be sure. So. Anywho, um, interesting video for you all, um, and uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Cheers.